Hey, what's up guys? Jason Roberts here for jane-finch.com. I'm over here behind Driftwood Community Center where the Black Creek Conservation Project of Toronto has teamed up with Acorn to do a tree planting uh, project today just along the strip of houses beside the center. Uh, let's see who's here and find out exactly what's going on. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Jason standing next to Mike Prepard. Uh, Mike, tell everyone exactly what your role is at the Black Creek Conservation Project of Toronto and exactly what's going on here today. Well, I'm the president of the Black Creek Conservation Project as well as the manager with the Live Green Toronto Community Animation Program and together we're working with Councillor Peruza's office to help green up uh, yet another space in, in the City of Toronto. The Black Creek Conservation Project has worked with community members up and down the creek for almost 30 years now. Um, it's a great resource in the city, it has lots of nice green spaces, but it's a very urbanized part of the city. Um, there's a lot of concrete, a lot of asphalt and um, what we're doing here today is planting native species along a small tributary of the creek to try and add habitat for, for, for birds and butterflies and wildlife as well as greenery for the people in the community and I think the most important part of all this is getting community members involved in their own backyards in doing work on the creek and around the city of Toronto. And long term what, what's the sort of biggest benefit to um, initiating a project like this in a community like ours? There's multiple benefits. I mean certainly with climate change planting of trees helps to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions um, but more important it helps to create a bit of a green movement and, uh, a movement in which people get involved in helping to protect the planet and their own future. Um, what's the most important part of today for you? I want, this was originally a part of Black Creek and it was buried during the, um, when they did the construction here. The, the construction that, that was done here in Jen and Finch, when developing a Jen and Finch was just, um, wasn't really thought out properly. So they buried this part of the creek and what we have been trying to do here you now, we are planting back the original trees that was in this Black Creek watershed the trees that were there before and so we can have the water re re return the watershed back and keep a bit of this creek that is here still most of it is buried underground. I'm with um, Maxine and um, Maxine's just here with her kids uh, tree planting. Um, Maxine uh, what's going on today and why did you decide to come out? Because I got a call and my answering machine saying that, that we're planting and I live in a community so why not give it back? My kids and I are happy to be here. And how's it going? Oh, I love gardening. <laughs> um, how do you like the tree planting? I love it. It's great. It's a good experience for young and old. So I lived in the neighborhood for a while, so I like to see things changing and developing more. I am the project coordinator for the Black Creek Conservation Project. I've been in this role for about six years. Black Creek Conservation Project has been doing this for 28 years. For this particular project, this is the start of our second year on this site, uh, tree planting. We do this conjunction con together with ACORN. ACORN brings the people. We bring the trees and the shovels and the technical knowledge. We have connections with the Toronto Conservation Authority and with the City Park Service. And with them, we do the planning as to where an appropriate place for trees to go would be. Um, where the Toronto Conservation Authority has a plan called the Habitat Improvement Plan. It's all about putting native species in the right place. All this planning has a lot to do with coordinating with other uses of the park. There are neighbors around the park, there are safety issues walking down the walk paths in the middle of the night sort of thing. Uh, so we have to take those sorts of things into consideration along with the environmental objectives that we're trying to achieve of protecting this particular creek here. Um, long term, what's the objective? The objective is to create a natural corridor along this creek. This is Driftwood Creek. It's a tributary of the Black. Prior to a year ago, it was mowed grass. The lawnmowers went right through the creek. It was not clean. It was muddy. Uh, tracks, bottles and things. There was nothing that could live here. The birds insects. Nothing could actually live here very well. So we have now created a corridor that's about 25-30 feet wide. We've planted about 600 native species of about 12 different varieties. That is shelter for bird nests, for insects. It's food for those animals and it looks good. 
and then on top of that it gets the community out we've had probably about 200 250 people over the year involved here on this site a lot of them are kids and people that live in this community so there's a little bit of adoption of the park uh, a lot of people are concerned with safety issues that they aren't comfortable coming down to the park but by coming down for this kind of event and learning to take care of the park then it becomes their park and part of their community they know what's here and they want to protect it and by being here and being involved then then it becomes a safer place to be hey what's up jason roberts i'm standing next to anthony peruzza councillor anthony peruzza anthony um talk a bit about what's going on here today well, you know, the, we've uh, we've asked the community to come out and uh, help us plant a few trees along the uh, along the ravine here in the park, uh, uh, along the creek. Yeah, uh, you know, and uh, I think it's a great thing. The the, the turnout is uh, is quite good. Uh, uh, I think we're going to uh, put into the ground uh, about uh, 300 uh, trees between oh, wow. trees and shrubs. So, yeah, quite good. Yeah. Um, what excites you most about a project like this happening in our community? Well, you know, it's uh, it's good to see people coming out. These are spaces, for example, if you look at this uh, at this area back here, it's sort of sanded between people's backyards, and it's a it's sort of a community space that has been uh, you know neglected for for a long time. And uh, and this is a is this is also a way to reclaim these spaces. Uh, you know, when the community comes out and uh, and folks see you know visible activity and people walking around, they feel comfortable with their space again, and uh, and uh, and hopefully people. Will continue to use this stretch of park. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah.